episode is sponsored by Boz Joe SD Sticks. So, this is a really awesome episode. As you guys saw in the beginning, we got some amazing products here we're going to be talking about and some amazing things we can do with them. We're going to be showing you exactly how to use the SD Sticks, the SD programmers, and what are the capabilities and possibly what you can do with them for having custom things for your Vital Bracelet and your Digivice V, which is really exciting. Right, Debbie, dude? Yeah. We've been talking about the possibilities. But before we do that, let's get into the dudes and what's happening with our Digimon. We got so, nobody. We do have people. So who do you have on your VB right now? I have Wizard Nobody. You show off Wizardmon. Come on. We got Wizard Nobody. You've got Wizardmon on the Impmon Dim. No, it's Wizardmon. Uh, wizard, uh, no Wizardmon. <laughs> And then I have a cut. Speaking of custom dims, I have a custom dim I'm running right now made by a fan for a Royal Knights theme. And I have Alpha Mon here. And we're actually going to be talking about how you can program and do that yourself. And then I also have a Nanny Mon on the OG version 4 here. You mean a Manny Mon because it looks like a man. That that is really funny and really fitting, Debbie dude. <laughs> there, man, Manny Mon. Okay, so now that we did the dudes, quick updates right then and there. Let's get right into what's happening. You're happening. You're what's happening. No, you're a happening. What's happening? You're a happening guy. We're a couple of happening guys. No, you are. Okay, so we have some amazing products we're here showing you and talking about today. All the products can be found at the site shown here on the, on the screen. Link in our description there. SD stick information there. So what we're going to start with is the programmers. These are a really amazing streamlined, sleek, compact version of what I already have and been using, which is a fan-made one by Cool Potatoes made me there which is this guy and if you're going to compare the two i'll admit this one is much nicer in appearance and a lot easier to just use and less fragile i'm always concerned about accidentally ruining mine and with that i am 100 percent confident with this one i can put it anywhere to store it not have to worry about damaging it or breaking it really because it's got this amazing 3d printed case around it. Daddy, I've got a question. Yes. What um, is it, Debbie, dude? My, how we do it is, like, do we have, like, a dim card and we, like, put it inside? I'm going to go over exactly how we do that step by step. So this one here I've already tested and used and I've already programmed. But we have a second one here that has not been programmed yet and we're going to be able to go through step by step on how to program it in case you don't have a programmed one already. We're also going to be talking about these amazing SD sticks that he makes. There is a full regular version and a light version here. The only difference between the two is this 3D printed case that looks almost identical to one that we are recognized and we know already. But just here. a little bit of smaller. No, it's exactly the same, exactly the same size and style even has the holes there to slip it into one of the cards. It's just slightly different in shape. But it will work absolutely the same as the ones we know and love. And then these are just a smaller version without the 3D printed case that are a little bit cheaper. There, they're just shrink wrapped. And they make all of these products themselves. So let's start with the programming. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need to go out and download Mr. Blinky's program. That seems to be the best one. I use it. Everyone else seems to be agreeing that Mr. Blinky did the best job so far on making the program to use with this. And that's also in the description. I got a link there in the description for you guys to the site where you can download and use this. One more thing I want to mention before we actually start programming is that he also has these amazing little stickers in tons of different colors. He sent us a whole bunch of them here, which we love stickers to begin with, 
But you could always put, if you buy multiples of the same color, you could always drop a sticker on here and then be able to tell which one's which. Blue sticker, red sticker, black sticker, pink sticker. There's tons of stickers. You could also do different custom paint jobs on them if you want to, once you get them and then want to make them special and custom to you. First thing we're going to do is grab our programmer and we're going to plug it in. Go right in there and move this out here. You see this has this nice little red light on it to help indicate there that it is on and running and everything is working smoothly, which I love that as part of their design there to plug it in and then I know things are up and running. It's a great indicator. And this also shows you which is the top and which is the bottom for the device because that's going to be a nifty thing to know. So now that you downloaded Mr. Blinky's program, what you're going to want to do is plug in your SD stick programmer and let it sit in the computer for just a minute or so to give the computer a chance to recognize it and run it. Then, the first step you're going to do for a brand new one you haven't used before is to make sure that it has the correct drivers on it. And by doing that, all you have to do is push the Windows button and the X button on your computer, and it'll open up this menu here. We're going to go to Device Manager, click that, Give my computer a sec to run. There we go. And then we're going to go for interface. We're going to click interface here. And if you see this device already, if you see this pop up for you already, it means it's already programmed and ready to go for you. So this one, we don't actually have to do anything for it, but we'll go through anyway what you would have to do in case you needed to program it. If yours wasn't programmed already, what you're going to want to do then is then go to unknown devices, which mine is not popping up here because it does recognize it. But if we click on it, we can still go through the steps and show you here. This menu will pop up here. Then we're going to want to go to drivers. Click there. Then you're going to click update drivers. And then you would go to browse my computer. And then you would go and find the driver in the Mr. Blinky file that you ended up downloading just before. But we are all set and we're all ready to go. So we're actually gonna close all this out. And then we're gonna open up the Mr. Blinky file here. So it's gonna be, I set mine to the desktop right here, which is gonna be Dim Card Tools, and mine's a shortcut. And then we're gonna have Dim Card Tools right here. Open that up. And then this is going to be the actual program that we're going to be running and using. Mr. Blinky makes it so simple and so easy. Even I know how to do this. I am not a very computer savvy person at all. If you guys have been talking to me online, I have a lot of people always trying to help me with different issues and stuff I have with running different Digimon things on the computer and having problems with it. So even this is simple and easy to use for anybody. All you need is the SD stick programmer and any of the SD sticks there that Bosjo provides on their site, which by the way, they did tell me that very shortly, even maybe, maybe by the time this video actually posts, that they're going to be having a Koofy store opening up there, which will also be a link on their site, which once again is in the description there. So first things first is we're going to grab one of our... SD sticks, and if you look at it here, there is a, what you would call a top and a bottom. The bottom is in line more with the attachment part here, and the top has that extra negative space in it. So you're actually gonna put it with the top facing down and plugged in there. And once again, I'll just pull the camera down and show you there. which is a common thing that is brought up a lot on which direction to use because they won't work right, obviously, if it doesn't. Even with the one Cool Potatoes made for me, the first time I used it, I had it mixed up on which way to go with it and that this is the one of the most common questions that's asked. So now that you got it plugged in, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check DIM card. We're going to go right here to the top option, click Check DIM card, and it's going to tell us that this is not linked to any vital bracelet already. This has never been used, It's what it's saying. Then 
We're going to go through the other options after that. If it is linked to a vital bracelet, it'll give you a serial number here and it'll tell you which device it's linked to in case you want to match them up with anything else or you need to know that information. The next option here is going to be unlock dim. It's exactly that, guys. If you want to unlock your dims to use them with other vital bracelets, this is the perfect way to do it. It's so simple and so easy. I know there's a way to do it through the factory settings, through the um, vital bracelet in Digivice V, but it's a little more complicated than what I'm personally comfortable with, and this is a fast and easy way to do it. Fast and easy. Fast and easy, bud. And then the next option we have here is backup dim, which is actually reading the file off your dims and saving them to your computer. They're all under BIM files there, BIM files. So for instance, if I wanted to take my Gammon DIM and run it and have the file itself on my computer, this is exactly how I would do it. I would plug it in, do backup, and boom, I have my own file to saved on the computer there for any reason. So now we're gonna actually go to restore DIM here which is the part that we're excited about the most, which is actually programming the DIM with new information. You can use this to rewrite over any SD stick you have or any DIM cards you have already. So, now that we got down to that, I also want to tell you though that Mr. Blinky's program doesn't come with any of the files. You're going to have to go out and get the files yourself. There's a lot of great Facebook groups that share the files there, or if you have some friends that have them, you can share the files that way. Um, I actually have all the files up to date except for the new Digimon Tamer Dims that are released as of today recording this just because they're not out yet. They're not really up yet. Many people haven't posted them yet. But I have them all myself plus a few of the custom DIM files that people have sent me and that I've been playing around and trying like the Royal Knights one I have right here. So I have mine saved on my desktop here. So we'll just run through all my files here to show them off real quick and then we're just going to set this off to the side here and we'll pull this bad boy up over here all right so then we're going to go to restore here it's going to pull up our options here mine already has it set to dim card backups because i use it so much it recognizes the nose and we are going to go to this special one right here we're going to click open it's erasing any old data that's on there. And then it's going to start programming all the new data on there after that. We'll close this out real quick. And as you can see, the green bar going through here, programming chip. And we'll be done. And it takes about a minute to a minute and a half to actually do it. Um, see, a little slow starting, then it zips, then it slows down a little bit, then it'll zip again. Okay. Um, okay. And then... Once we're done programming both DIMs here, I have some big announcements for Devi Dude, which he has no idea what I'm talking about. Also, there was a surprise. And we'll have some big announcements for you guys, too. So just stay tuned here. We're going to finish programming this DIM, then we have one more DIM to program, and then we have some big news. All right, guys, we're almost finished here programming our second DIM. It is done. This is what you're going to say when it's finished. It's going to tell you the runtime. Like I said, about a minute, sometimes a little bit longer, but yeah. Now we officially programmed our second one here. All right, now we've finished programming this one here. And now for the very first time, I am excited to announce we have our very first Digi Dude set here. I've been talking to a friend of mine, Cool Potatoes, who went and programmed our personal evolution lines on the dims for us. So our black ones here, are the Devi Dude SD stick, and the white one here is the Billium SD stick with my personal evolution line and your personal evolution line here. <laughs> Hold on, we're not gonna start them just yet, Devi Dude. I know you're really excited about that. And I'm also happy to announce our next giveaway. We are going to be doing a Digimon Dim giveaway here. So, what I'm actually gonna be giving away is going to be a, where'd I put them? Aha, here they are. I have a Gammon DIM card here we're going to be giving away. I have a Pulsemon DIM card here going to be giving away. I have a 
versus Dim that I reprogrammed into a Ancient Warriors Dim, the Vmon one. We're going to be giving away. We're going to be giving away this programmer itself right here. We just programmed and used. What? We're going to be giving away the Digi Dudes SD sticks here that we just programmed with the Digi Dudes files on it. But I wanted one. That's why we have two right here, Debbie Dude. We still have some. Yep, one for us, a set for us, and a set for the giveaway. <laughs> and I'm going to be giving away a handful of the blank light SD sticks here. The glorious. We're going to be doing so. In order to enter that giveaway, same thing like the last giveaway. Simple and easy. Shoot me an email. This That's all you glorious. guys have to do. Yes. Glorious! It's my own gym! It it's is! Glorious! <laughs> All you guys have to do is shoot me an email, say hi, tell me what you think. Just friendly hello. Nothing special, guys. We're going to be doing the giveaway on April 1st, Can so I it's a little over a month. Can I put a red sticker on mine? A little bit later, okay, Debbie Dude? Let's finish the episode before we start customizing your dims and everything, okay? Okay. So, once again, April 1st is going to be the actual drawing. You have on the last week of February here, the full month of March to enter. We're going to be talking about it in every episode here. This giveaway is in partner again with, is it Bosjo, the sponsor of this episode. If you guys like this Digimon content, if you guys like what we do here, please let us know by giga blasting that like button. And touch your mirror. It helps us out a lot. We greatly appreciate all you guys. If you guys have any questions at all about this, any of the products here, anything about how to use the program, anything at all, please shoot me a message. Um, put it in the email if you want, or even shoot me a message on Instagram there. I will be making the files available for the DigiDudes Dims there if you guys want to download them themselves. Um, eventually, first it's going to be for our Patreon supporters, and then I'll be doing it after the giveaway for everybody else to make it available. There. Um, if you guys want to help support the channel, go check out our Patreon there. It means a lot to us. Thank you so much to War and... Digital Tree! You guys are the best. Our Patreon supporters there. And as always, from me, my family, to you, have a digitastic day!